All right, what's up, guys? That kid RBM back with another video. So I'm with my boy Angel today. So it's a quick video. What time is it? It's late. It's late. Uh, 9:50. Yeah, 9:50. So as you guys can tell, I'm talking loudly because it's hailing right now. It's the beginning of April. It was what 60 degrees outside the other day, and now it's hailing. Um, and it's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna snow tomorrow. Um, don't mind how clapped this tent is. We're probably going to get another cover because this shit is all ripped up. But I wanted to make this quick video because um, I got some new parts for the the case. The, the, I'm going to say case swap. The Craftswork. Uh, damn, I'm saying, I'm saying all again, bro. <laughs> for the craft, I do. For the Craftsworks FA5. So we wanted to do an unboxing real quick and then just go inside or go work on Jason's car if he answers. So the first box. I don't really remember what this stuff is. Damn. You can't put it on the I mean, for now, you know? So, this package is from... Is it too far, Angel? Like that? I think I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Like that, maybe? So, yeah, so... Damn, I can't see my face, though. I'm going to just leave it like that. I'll probably edit and post. And post. So... This package is from Connecticut, I think. That one's from Canada. Yeah. I think this one's from Connecticut. I can't I can't find the return label. Damn, it's loud, bro. It might be loud. The audio might be like really bad, but Angel and I were like, fuck it. Oh, let's just do a quick video. Cause I know you guys love content. Of the civics so and yeah we can grab that one too but yeah we're local bro I <laughs> yo all I heard was clunk <laughs> what's in there bro I don't know I forget but I've ordered I've ordered so many parts for that car that I start to keep track of okay okay mm. alright so we just finished the raffle or the waffle of the K-tuned um the K-tuned what do we call this? The valve cover. The valve cover, yeah. So this was nice. Dude. I raffled it off because thank you. I came with it out. I wanted a different color. So this one's used, but I just gotta clean it up a little bit. But I just needed the red. You guys know that my color is red. So I got this used from Connecticut. Yeah, this one's from Connecticut. I got this one used, um, pre-installed. Oh, he gave me an oil cap, 5W20, so that's not for a Civic SI. We use 5W30. But, okay, so he left everything on it. Oh, he even left this on it, so I'm gonna just do the Honda Bond, and then... We just bought that one for nothing? Yeah. It does have some Honda Bond, like, right here. Um, I'm gonna just test it, bro. And if anything, I'll fucking return that shit. That was $42. Oh, yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah, but... Yeah, we got a red one for the Craftsworks build. And I do have a, a drag cartel oil cap. And for now, I have the normal uh, orange oil cap. But we be painting that shit. <laughs> we be painting it black to look just like the, the, the FB2 one. So that's that. Next is this one. So this one's from my boy Brian, the white one. He's from, I forget which province in Canada. But he's from Canada. So I was scrolling on Marketplace. Uh, damn, where the fuck did I put the knife? I was on Marketplace. Bro, oh, wait, wait, sorry, yeah, I found it, I found it. I'd be, I'd be on Marketplace, ask Angel. I'd be changing my location. I'd be putting Canada, Florida, like everywhere. So I stumbled upon these. Um, I'm gonna put Brian's Instagram down below. He is building, uh, 2011, I think it is. FA5. I, he's, I think he's gonna do the, the full FD2. Remember that I told you he's, he has Dom Dub's old car. Remember the YouTuber that I told oh, yeah, you, the, the white one. one. Yeah. yeah, with the full HFP. So I found these out there in Canada, and he was kind enough. Damn, I got a paper cut. He, he was kind enough to grab these for me, and obviously I sent him the money, and, and I sent him, I sent him some more money for the favor. So, if you know, you know. 
Yeah. So, these are one of the hardest things to find that isn't for our cars, but it fits. So, that's the back one. Um, there's no front top of the box. And then this is the other back one. So, these are, I believe, 9th Gen Civic SI HFP floor mats. So, I think, oh, for the valve cover, I forgot how much I paid for it. I'll check. Um, so, for these, I paid, it was somewhere around like $200 US. So, these ones are made for a 9th Gen SI. They're a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna get them vacuumed and cleaned. But these mostly fit, they, they can fit our cars. They can fit eight then, but they're extremely hard to find. They're discontinued and everything. So thank you. There was a, a lady that posted them. I thought it was a scam, but she was legit. So my boy drove to go get them. Bro, these are sky quality, bro. These are fire. So yeah, these are discontinued. Uh, HFP floor mats, all, I will put, um, oh, but I'm gonna put in the description too. Here's the part number. Uh, it might not focus. Uh, whatever. I'll put it. I'll put it down below as well. But like I said, I've been looking for these since I had the FD2 build. So that already tells you how hard it is to find. And luckily, I found the pair. Uh, I mean, the whole set. Um, yeah, we can throw that back in there. And then I've gotten a lot of other parts. But it's like more minuscule stuff, more little stuff. I am waiting for a package from Zosh. I'm gonna tag him, you guys definitely know him. He's a really big 8th gen creator. And I'm also waiting for a package from MDP. So they're um, a fabricating company that makes that make a lot of billet parts, billet aluminum parts for the 8th gen. So both of them sent me packages. I'm just waiting for them to come in. And then one last part, like I said, we have way more parts his car is almost done. My car is getting there. I just got the car, but you guys know I like to build my cars quick. So let me just put this over there. So I like to do this. Um, yeah, they have me. If anything, I'll just show me. I, I, either way, I got a clean room. So it, it, it has a clean room. But I'm going to bring this inside because this is going to fall through my watch. <laughs> Let me put this over here. Let's get All right, so this is the big boy package. We're gonna move this out of the way for now. So this one I got from Florida. The hard thing is about buying these parts is you have to convince the buyer to ship it. So I use a company that's only for, for the US and to go out from the US. You can't use it in other countries coming in. But I use a company that's called Pirate Ship. So basically, um, you can buy, you can buy shipping labels from UPS and U and USPS at a discounted rate. So every time I ship you guys parts when I'm selling something or when I do a raffle, I use them to get cheaper rates. So I'll put the description down below. I'm not sponsored by them, but I highly recommend for you guys to use that company. So I found these on Marketplace as well. Like I said, I'm a Marketplace demon, bro. Like if I see something, far away and i want it trust me i'm gonna get it one way or another either if one of my people um either if they go to go like look at it for me just like the just like the car uh my boy went to go see the car in arizona and then i paid the guy and i got it the floor mats in canada this i went straight through the seller i paid for shipping and we have more parts coming in too, because this is just the, you already know what this is, bro. Yeah. So, and this is the unboxing. If this is broken, I'm gonna be tight. But, let's take this out first. They're coming both together. Yo, I thought I got finesse. Okay. Yo, wait, I'm like, where's the other one? <laughs> I'm like, where's the other one? Damn, well, that's nice. Okay, can you get the the thing, the, um, the stand? Okay, so the first thing, okay, so the listing of the guy said that this was a replica rear HFP kit. From what I've heard, the replicas are more rare than the OEMs. And if you guys know, to find something for the FA5 that's HFP, it's rare as hell. 
Uh, I also made a post showing the differences between HFP FA5 and for the base model. So, just a quick rundown for you guys. For the HFP parts, the front lip for the base models for the 07 to uh, 06 to 08 and the 09 to 11 is all the same. Same goes for the side skirts as well. Modulo side skirts from Canada are the same as HFP, I'm pretty sure. And the rear lips, the black piece, so let's hold it up, Angel, so we can show them. So just spin it, so give me that part. So the the back lip for the FA5, you guys see how it's, it's really big and there's one black piece, then it goes out. That's bigger. And then I'll throw pictures of the base one. And then this cutout for the exhaust is way bigger on the 8th gens. You guys can run a, um, a base model one, but you have to modify that. And like, this is just not the same. So like I was saying, the seller of this was selling everything together. He had the bumper. The, I should have got the grill, bro. I should have got it just, just to have another grill. Yeah. But he said that this was replica. I don't see a hot, like that's fine. So I paid 550 plus shipping for both the front lip, which is OEM. I'll show you guys that in a few for an 07. And that's for both. And if you guys know, the front lips go for 500. Um, it doesn't have, no, it doesn't have it. Yeah, no, nah, cause it would be like somewhere like right here, yeah, I think. They go on the metal. Nigga, it's OEM. That's OEM. Look, it says S and X right there. Unless, unless that's a tab, that, that thing. It's OEM! It's OEM! How it goes again? It's OEM Honda! It's OEM know? Honda! Come and see it! Come and see it right here! Come and see it right here! Come and see it right here, boy! 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 Look! Look! What does that say there, bitch? Fucking again! It happened again! Okay, let me grab comes. the camera. So, the reason why I'm hype as shit right now, I paid replica prices for, for the OEM back. I already knew the front was oh, yeah. thing. Yo, okay. So the reason I said again was because Angel and I, we, you guys might have known. I don't know if you guys, if you guys can see that. All right, guys, the video froze real quick, but um, you have like a like like a wet thing. You you cleaned it a little bit, so the video froze. But you guys can see. Hold it up so like it hits the light like that. No, yeah, I see. Yeah, right there, right there. Uh, like that. I'm trying to let it focus. God damn, it's not focusing. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna show them it's OEM. Yeah, ain't no way. I thought this was. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, let's put it down. And then let's talk to them about the thing. And I, I, we have the video. The video was going hype. I have it. The security camera video. So let, let, let us talk about it. So Angel and I, we got a shell because we were gonna rebuild the turbo one. This was like last year, right? Yeah. So we got the shell off of, um, that's crazy, we got it off of Joey, and I talk to him every day. <laughs> he doesn't know that. He doesn't, I, don't, I don't know. But um, we got the car, and it looked like it had uh, Type R side skirts on it. So we were like, bro, they look pretty legit. And if you guys know, FD2 Type R side skirts, they're not put on with 3M tape. They're riveted on to the, to the, to the what is it called? The, the rocker. The rocker, the rocker panel with, with clips. Like, you have to do holes in it. So I'm going to throw up the video. If I can find it, I know I have it somewhere. But Angel and I, we literally take off the side skirt and we're like, bro, this has to be OEM. And we cleaned it off and we saw the Honda logo. We went crazy. And we, we sold them for a, what, a thousand? A thousand yeah. We sold the side skin for a thousand. We're not getting those again. Nah, we're not. But this is the crazy part. The, oh my God, bro. He literally told me this is replica. I paid 550 plus shipping for both. I sell, when I find these, I sell this for 500 and this for 500. And I thought this, I was fine with it being replica. You can't even find, bro, but it's OEM. Side. It's OEM. It's OEM. I'm hype as shit right now. Let's show them the front lip. This is OEM. Yeah, this is OEM. So, right here. where is it? Right here. Over there. I mean, it probably won't even focus, but I can clean it we, we, we're not capping. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I don't, I don't really want to grab the camera. But I don't think, is it broken anywhere? No, it's like shit. And you, you guys know it's OEM when you see these tabs on it. Like these tabs, that's why, bro, the second I picked this up and I saw this on it, I saw this, I'm like, I'm like, bro, there's no way this is fake. And if it's a fake part, it's made out of fiberglass. And this is PP, this is polyurethane, I'm pretty sure. So this was, this was a habanero car, right? Look at it, or red light orange. I think habanero. Habanero, yeah. Maybe habanero, yeah. And then dino blue. He did send me a picture of the dino blue, and then this is obviously Fiji. Um, yo, bro. Damn, we can be lucky as over bro. Damn, on the, on the camera, we got our camera too. Yo, bro, my hands, even, damn, my hands are mad thing. Um, this can stay like this. That can stay like that. We're gonna pick up things. Okay, so we paused the video real quick, but we're back. So, all I'm waiting for is my side skirts. So, as I said earlier in the video, Medulo side skirts from Canada are very similar or exactly the same to the HFP side skirts that are like impossible to find. So, I ordered those from Canada. Um, so, I'm waiting for those to come in. So, you guys saw, we got, <laughs> that's lit. We got an OEM, we got an OEM HFP rear. We got an OEM front and we're getting OEM side skirts. Uh, my paint guy already gave me a good quote. All I have to do is get a new front bumper because the front bumper that I have there, it has those stupid tabs, the quick release things, and it has a crack in it and then the, the two things are broken. Remember the, the, where the grill is? Damn, bro, this shit is getting... Bro, whatever. I'll figure that out tomorrow. Anyways, um, yeah, so basically the exterior of the car is pretty much almost done, but I'm going to get either some Rega, some Vokes, or some, just some hot boy wheel. You guys know I like my, I like my expensive shit. My expense, my hot boy, my clout, my clout wheels. That shit would be nasty. Rega Master? Why yeah, you? but the exterior of the car is pretty much almost done. Um, so we have the OEM front HFP, we have the side skirts, we have the back lip. I might swap to a full race exhaust. Cause bro, the Skunk 2 is way too loud, bro. You like it, bro. I like that. Bro, it's way too loud, bro. So I might swap the exhaust. So I might have either the full race tip or I always do K-tuned. So I might do a K-tuned muffler. And then ex exterior wise on the car, I'm definitely gonna do FD2 rear for now. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna do it, bro. Like not now, 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 but I'm gonna do the FD2. Um, FD, I'm, I wanna do an FD1 trunk. That way I don't have a wing, no holes. And then I'm either gonna do the circle FD2 head tail lights or I'm gonna do the hexagon tail lights. Uh, the hexagons are really cool, but I never had the circle ones, but the circle ones, they give off. Jason, he was like, they give off base model vibes. For real. Cause it low key does, but. Anyways, that's pretty much it with the outside. I'm gonna get the roof wrapped black, gloss black. For now, I'm gonna keep the stock hood on it. I want this, I'm gonna throw up a picture here. I want the same hood that I had on the FD2, which is a VIS um, replica carbon fiber Mugen style hood. And then, bro, I was thinking about it. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do. I don't know what wing I want if I do the FD2, because obviously for now I'm gonna keep the side wing on that trunk. But I was, I was thinking if I should do the 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 Demon trunk, the FD2 carbon fiber Demon trunk. You know the one that this kid had, um, El Camboyano, que vive en Coso. He had the blue one with the C28s, oh, and he had the carbon fiber. Like it's a, it's a little lip like that. It's not even that. I'm gonna throw up a picture. I I don't know if I want to like I, I I always wanted that one, and this car I wanted to be like more of a sleeper, so I might do it, but I'm not gonna buy that now. So for now I'm gonna rock the stock FA5, and then I'm gonna do a FD1 trunk because I don't want a, I don't want a wing on it for now because I want to put I don't know what wing I want to do if I do the. It's hard. Bro, people told me to do the one on the on the, the hybrid, the duck bill. That shit looks clean, bro. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. Like I'm gonna it. throw a picture of the one I have on the hybrid now. But it's cold and we have to go help Jason install an exhaust. <laughs> I think, right? Yeah. I mean, if he if he's so down for it. But this is that kid RBM and La Paramugan. His car is gonna be done soon. <laughs> so we got wheels now? Yeah, we got wheels, we got wheels for him now. Um he's getting his back bumper soon. The 14. Yeah, and then we have the the fully built head that we might put in the car if we yeah, can we'll fix it. it. We'll show you guys what happened in the next do, video. We have to do. <laughs> we have to fix we that race shit. Loop. Yeah, we have to fix that shit. We'll show you guys what happened in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But like I said, this is that car. Ugh. This is that kid RVM. See you guys in the next one. Peace.